This video is sponsored by the JVOS Mindset. Click the link in the description. JVOS is a new way of thinking of jujitsu. It's a conceptually based approach to teaching jujitsu. It's a new way of simplifying a very complex art. If you, if you want to support the channel, go ahead and click the link and get your copy of JVOS today. Welcome to the Master Plan Lecture Series. My name is Javier Vasquez, and today we have a very important lecture. The lecture today that we will be discussing is about the central path, what it's about, and the philosophy behind it. So let's go ahead and get started. So first of all, let's start by explaining what the arrow signifies. So the arrow signifies motion over time. And the reason that the arrow is blue is that every map that has been created for each particular perspective, the central path is always signified in blue. So the arrow signifies motion over time and the color is going to signify all of the techniques that fall within the central path. So that is the significance of the arrow and of the color blue. My goal while fighting. My goal while fighting was to avoid damage at all costs by not getting hit. My, my, my primary academy rule, rule number one, is to not get hit. To not get finished by either submission, knockout, or TKO. To not inflict unnecessary damage. A lot of the strikes that I threw in my MMA career were more so to set up positioning and look for submission rather than to hit, hit people for no reason or to uh, inflict unnecessary damage. My goal was also to finish fights as soon as possible. I did not want to be taking unnecessary damage or potentially risk injury by prolonging fights. And the last thing here is to not fight with anger. I was very uh, cerebral when I fought. I was very focused when I fought. And I tried to be very stoic and not to have emotion while fighting. Again, the arrow signifies uh, the central path being the primary attack strategy. The central path is a mindset. It's knowing what crucial battles you're going to be fighting, understanding basic mechanics. And it also signifies a timeline of events, which I will get into in another video. The philosophy of the central path, every position has its own central path. Do what works most consistent. So one of the main kind of goals of the central path or um, one of the main products of the central path is that I am choosing the techniques that work best, the strategies that work best, and we do those things first. <clears throat> we do what works best first. <clears throat> also, the consistency within the central path is based on the fact that we're doing what works best first. So the fact that things work so well will in, entail give you more consistency. What is a central path? It's a unified fight strategy. It's a mentality. It's positionally unique. It's very consistent. And you know that it works. Why do we use a central path? I've dedicated 30 years of research and development, a lifetime of continued system refinement, I do what works best first, so there is a technique priority to, within my system. It's highly effective uh, through behavior generation. It produces consistent results. It's highly effective. It's extremely fatiguing to the opponent. How does it work? Primarily, it works through a philosophy and a, uh, which is discussed in JVOS, which I call absolute advantage. These are positions or battles where you will win the vast majority of the time. I would say 80% just to throw out a number. Most of the time, you're going to win these battles more than you lose. The bottom line, you'll win far more than you lose. It's a great starting point for any student. And from the central path, you can branch out to learning other techniques and strategies. The central path is one of the key pillars to the master plan. Each position has its own central path. And with as the time goes on, I will share with you what each position central path is all about. Thank you guys for watching. If you like the video, if you have uh, value in this video, go ahead and click the like and subscribe button for more content just like this. I am going to be breaking down jujitsu on a very cerebral level so th that this content will enhance whatever you're doing. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys real soon.